Welcome back to the My Player. We beat Real Madrid in the last episode. We were very happy about that. We're getting close to uh, maximum wage for the majority of the clubs that we're looking at mo potentially moving to or re-signing with in uh, Real Sociedad's uh, example. Obviously, I can't, as you can see, go any higher there. So we are maxed out with our potential wage here. Liverpool is our current... Uh, target club. We need one more goal and two more from inside the box to guarantee uh, contract objectives. In fact, no, we are already guaranteed contract objectives there. I could... Oh, Jesus, 46 goals it would need me to get. 46! I'm not erling. Let's start with 22 and take it one at a time, shall we? And then with Milan, we've maxed out that one-headed pass. Cool. Uh... I'm done for that one as well. But if I can go for that, I could get 147.9 thousand pounds a week. Two more goals inside the box for that one. Hatafe, we're not worried about. Hat tricks for PSG is what I'd need there. One of two, one of three. Go for that. And then Viriel, I wouldn't move to. And that's maxed out anyway. So Hatafe and Viriel are null and void. PSG and Milan, as well as Liverpool and Real Sociedad. There's a lot of money to be earned for us in the future, but at the minute, we have to prove that we're worth that fee. Still saving for my mansion and my private jet. Not words that will ever come out of my mouth in real life, at least not with any real meaning behind them anyway. And we're saying thank you continually, of course, for your support in the comments section and on stream of uh, all of the content we put out today. We're saying thank you to Mr. Poosh, saying thank you to Wee Ewan, and we're saying thank you to Jordan as well. Thank you very much indeed for your continued support on stream and in the videos. We start with Granada in the cup, then it's Valencia, then it's transfer deadline day, and then Deportivo Alaves. Big games today, none more so than the second one. Battle between first and second in the league. But can we get ourselves to the quarterfinal of the Copa del Rey in the meantime? Right, score two goals, 60% possession, and a 9.0. I think they expect us to win this one, don't you? That sweet little ground, actually, Granada here. You can see where our fans are away in that far corner. Hopefully, we can... Send them home happy at the end of the fixture and into the next round of the cup. Down the line there. Beautifully played, if I do say so myself, into Parisi, who's then slid tackled himself for a goal kick. <laughs> unfamiliar names from a, a traditional starting eleven for us this season. They're not unfamiliar names. You know who Audrey Zola is. You know who Francisco Trinsa uh, Trins Trincao is. But... They haven't been playing regularly for us this season. Neither has Cert Demir either. Torrientes, Trincao, spin the man was the plan. 20 minutes in, it's still nil-nil. One back, Trincao, little flick. Palacios, Cert Demir. Torrientes to me from here on my left. Oh, it's whipping well, but whipping wide. Worth a go, though. Not scored many on my left foot. Certainly from outside the box. It was actually... Further away than it looked. On TL. Caught on it by Zakarian. Played in here. Defenders all around. Too many for my liking. We'll find Trincao. He, spin, sp he has spun brilliantly. And that little layoff is gorgeous from Turrientes. He saw the run that I didn't. That little touch. Remember that Morgan Gibbs White flick for Forrest? It's similar to that, isn't it? And he's... Buried it rushing through the middle. Wasn't really ever going to miss from there, to be completely honest. We lead in the Copa del Rey round of 16. It's Arsene Zakarian that gives Real Sociedad a 1-0 advantage. That's a lovely ball out to Dominguez. He's turned on it well. Back to Perrin. Dominguez around the corner to Villa. Villa to Mezegaya. Mezegaya could have a wind-up. He does. It's deflected. Try and keep that in and deny them the corner. Granada giving as good as they've gotten so far in this game. They're obviously not a great team. And we've not fielded a full strength 11. But they haven't been bad. Samikas has just bumped me off that there. I'm trying to win it back. But 
It's just not my forte tackling, is it? And for that reason, it's why I haven't ever really done or contemplated doing like a a, a wing back player career or a CDM player career or something like that. It's why it always tends to be a striker or a winger or a cam. It's because I'm just no good at the defensive side of things in uh, in these video games. And you guys well know that from watching my content over the years. I'm definitely much better at one thing than the other, for sure. Trincao knocks that past the man brilliantly, but VR takes it off him. And unfortunately, no option for a second goal. They've got Atletico Madrid next, Granada, so it doesn't get any easier for them. At the minute, it's not getting any easier for us here. It might do scoreline-wise, though, if that goes in, but it hasn't. It's still only the one goal to nil. I've won that back off Samikas, so if I can find a teammate, I might yet get another assist. Perrin with the interception, Torrientes to me. VR wins it back. I've not had a great five minutes there, have I? It's still 1-0. It could have and maybe should have been two, though. Sertemir steps in, wins it back. Nicely played into the channel. Little skill move and a left-footed finish, maybe. Ah, oh, mate. I don't score many on my left. I should have added another one there, though. Beat the defender really well, but the shot was well saved. And perhaps should have tried to power it rather than finesse it. Bailey keeps me out again in goal. And whilst there still remains just one, they're not completely out of it yet, Granada. There is 12 minutes to go. We've got a free kick here. I don't necessarily want to be taking this myself, but I'll get myself further forward from open play. And maybe the ball might end up at my feet again. It has. Bailey's made another good save. And then pounces on the rebound as well. Well, we won't get a second goal here, but it doesn't look like we're going to need one. A relatively comfortable 1-0 win that sees us progress to the quarterfinals of the Copa del Rey. Still on course, potentially, for at least one, if not two, who knows, maybe three trophies this season in the player career. None of the objectives assured. Didn't score at least two goals. We didn't get the possession. and I was nowhere near a nine. Now, the game against Valencia, thankfully, comes quite quickly. So I should, again, be able to get myself back into the starting lineup. Barcelona and Atletico Madrid still in the competition. Am I? Please tell me I'm going to be able to play against Valencia. I think I'm pretty sure it might only be just. But we are indeed just into the starting lineup. Breathe a sigh of relief. Winning stage of the tournament. Tie very much. Still no incomings that we're aware of. Not that I've been told about. You would normally get told about it. It's the top of the table versus second in the table. Away from home at the Mestalla as well. Back to full strength after a couple of rotated players in for the cup. Let's get a dub. Avoiding defeat is more important, but... Win and go five points clear. My yes, please. Score a goal, get four passes. Well, in yesterday's episode, there were a couple of games where I didn't get four passes in the opponent's half. The Mestalla is such an impressive ground. And it's so steep as well. I'd love to go in real life. A couple of friends have been. And they absolutely love the experience. And I certainly like to add that to my up top knowledge bank of experiences going to uh, Valencia. I've only done the uh, Camp Nou in Spain. But the Mestalla and rather obviously the Santiago Bernabeu are on my to-do list as well as the Wanda Metropolitano. Which is obviously a fantastic new ground for... Uh, Atletico Madrid and Athletic Bilbao have just got a brand new San Mames as well haven't they or at least they were going to it's in the works they might already be in it I'm not sure there's loads of grounds that uh, would be great to visit throughout the course of a football viewing lifetime this is certainly one of them although I think they're gonna knock the Mestai down and build a new one or they were going to and then they hit financial troubles I don't know there's so much has been up in the air of late in uh, Spanish football, hasn't it? But for now, there's nothing in the air in our league campaign. We are top. And if we avoid defeat in this game, we will still be top. Free kick at the start of the second half. It's been a difficult game so far, to say the least. With minimal chances on goal for either side. In fact, I can't actually recall either goalkeeper making a save. Parisi's in here, though. 
Still, no goalkeeper's made a save, but we've scored a goal. Lloydis sneaks in at the back post. It's a brilliant move. I was barely involved in it. I was positioning myself for maybe a cutback, but there was so many Valencia defenders around there that I wasn't sure whether I'd be able to get myself the ball. I might, might have been able to squeeze it to me, but Lloydis sneaks in at the back post. And then what feels like the first shot of the game, genuinely. Enzo Lloydis. Let's have a look at match facts. It was the first shot of the game. In the 51st minute, that's how tight this game has been. We finally have a chance to show you in a highlight. And it's a blooming goal as well. A goal that might see us go five points clear at the top of the table. Certainly five points clear of Valencia and at least four points clear if Barcelona win their game on this particular match day. Mikel Arthabal, who used to be a Real Sociedad man, has uh, moved to Arsenal now, as you could see top left there a moment ago. Trying to poke that through, looking for Takafusa Kubo to look for a quick second, but not able to do so. And at the minute, I'd absolutely take the 1-0. It would extend our lead at the top of the table and would be thrilled with that. One shot all game that's a goal for Sociedad. Perfect, mate. Pepelu and Flavic are going to need to get him forward. I'm at risk of being subbed out. And to be fair, I absolutely understand why. Other than the goal, nobody's really had the opportunity to perform to a high level in this fixture. At half-time, I was on a five. But not because I'd done anything wrong. Just because I barely touched the ball to do anything right. We're going to get rid of this eventually, thankfully. And I'd like to think we'll be able to hold on for a 1-0 win. But with passing like that, it's not going to help us, is it? Here comes Cadiola. on a hell of a run from right back. He's still going. He's gone all the way. What an individual solo effort. Wow. Valencia are level. From nowhere, a moment of magic. He's saying to his teammate, just move. Get out of the way. Edge of the box. The right back scores a banger. It's 1-1. Jesus Christ. I am being subbed off. On the back of that goal going in, I'm being pulled. I've only lasted 74 minutes. Now an 85 rated Nico Jackson has the opportunity to hopefully get us a goal to win the game. But only a 6.0 for me there in that one. That is not sensational, is it? We will stay top, provided we avoid defeat, but we wanted the win. Runners all around him. Is he going to actually use anyone, though? Apparently not. Dusan's just going solo. Don't even think about it, Dusan. Malero. Oh, Barela with the effort that's blocked well. We went from feeling super confident of extending our leads at the top of the table to five points, or at least four, to very nearly not even being top at all, if that goes in. 60 seconds left in the game. A chance, maybe. Kubo loses out to Scalvini. It's a 1-1 draw. We will stay top. Barcelona could close the gap on us. And I have a funny feeling I'm going to be on the bench for that game against Deportivo Alaves after transfer deadline day. But it is deadline day where we will head next. No, it's not. Well, it is. But it's not Alaves we head to next. I'm going to get lucky again. It's Leganes we head to next in the Copa del Rey. We get very lucky that another fix has been drawn and I'll have the opportunity to get myself back in the starting lineup again. Oh, new player arrived. Who? Sanchez. That's not a unique enough surname for us to know exactly which Sanchez that, that might be. Mr. Sanchez, which Sanchez are you? He might not actually be in yet. No, there he is. Fabricio Sanchez, a 20-year-old, 83-rated centre-back that won't start, but will certainly strengthen our depth in that position. If we could get a midfielder in there, it'd be lovely. There you go, Fabricio Sanchez. It's even on the latest deals tablet. 38.5 million from Bayer Leverkusen. 
Hopefully we don't end up selling anyone else of our strong first team. There aren't many obvious places where we could actually improve, really, other than centre mid. But it's not like those that are in centre mid currently haven't been sensational so far this season. Top of the, top of the league for crying out loud. So you can't really be like, oh, I'm not sure they're good enough. Because they're kind of proven that they are. Nicolo Ravella coming in to Serie to La Liga, sorry, from Serie A via the Premier League. Crystal Palace, 60.8 million. Mateus Fernandez moves to Burnley from Frankfurt for 54.1. Any other La Liga ones? They knew Tavares leaves Villarreal, who were challenging towards the top end of the table, actually, Villarreal, weren't they? Uh, Wilfred Nonto apparently rumoured on the left-hand side there to be joining us at Real Sociedad. That would be an intriguing one. Not the obvious. Nonto, a player we'll obviously use at Leeds in the uh, upcoming save that we're about to do on the main channel. Shirts of which are behind me somewhere. Is he going to join before transfer deadline day ends? It doesn't look like it. The answer is going to be no. So as we have one guy leave in Tamar Lamar, we have others join. And I am just in the starting lineup for the next one then. I will play against Leganes and I will quite gladly take another £85,000 off beats. If they want to sponsor me at quite the same level in real life, I'll be very open to it. Leganes away, quarter final of the Copa del Rey on the way. I didn't know Leganes had a song in the game. Leganes, Leganes. <laughs> Complete two passes in the opponent's half. We'll give that a go. Win the game and get a nine. To be fair, against Leganes, we probably should be getting a strong result and personal performance. Could really do with having the ego boost after that dead game for me personally against Valencia. But Leganes have done well enough to get themselves to this round of the competition, so we can't take them for granted at this stage. If they're going to get themselves to the quarters, then they're good enough to get to the quarters, which means that they might be good enough to get to the uh, semis as well. Although, getting a yellow card after two and a half minutes is not necessarily the best way to go about ensuring that they can be as defensively sound as they want to be. Anderson, Curtis Jones, Takafuso was a nice idea. All right, nothing in the opening five minutes, but or maybe something in the latter opening ten. Parisi to me, short, finds Curtis Jones to Zakari and to Curtis Jones to Zakari and to Curtis Jones to Parisi to Curtis Jones to me and back and Takafuso Kubo and one nil and my assist and breathe. <gasps> 1-0 Real Sociedad! And we're involved, I get the assist. Takafusa Kubo buries. And we do eventually take the advantage in this game. And I think that might be more of the same to come for the rest of it too. Palacios, Jones, quickly to me. That's what I mean when I don't want it just then. I want to be able to actually turn and run towards goals. Akarian, Loyadis, and Jones, Parisi, Jones... It's a carry on or was bending towards the back of the net. And Javi Hernandez has done really well to keep that in, actually, and deny us the chance of a corner as well. Could have been 2 0 here away from home against Leganes. It probably will be 2 0 at some point here away from home against Leganes. But for the time being, the goalkeeper's doing the business. So carrying with a good header. And Jones to me. So has kept going. He's onside and he is well and truly in and away. And. Misses the target. Could have been a second assist for me. We've not gotten more than two assists ever in a game. I'm sure I've gotten two assists at least once in a game. There, we did not that long ago, didn't we? Against Espanyol. That might only be the only time, second time. It's Tyrol. We've had two hat-tricks and we've had three occasions. Once in, at Raku. Three occasions of getting four occasions... At Notts County, four occasions of getting multiple assists, but never never a hat-trick of assists. Never three. Could have had two there, and there's still plenty of the game left, but unfortunately, he missed the bloody target, so I don't get it anyway. I'm actually going to drive. I'm going to drive, and then I'm going to stand it up. And it's going to fall to Curtis, is it? No. It's going to drop for someone, though. Here's Kubo. Still. I don't know how he's done that. 
and slam it at the near post. Oh, good save, Diego Conde. That was going in. That was headed, squeezing in that top corner. It needed the stop. It was quite the stop when it came as well. They've picked up an injury. It's Fomba. I'm going to win that header. Oh, oh. But wish I hadn't. Curtis Jones will call for the through ball. I'm not going to get it. Jones backwards. This might end in a chance. But what started very promisingly, looking like it might be quite a dominant game, has actually not transpired to be a game that's panned out that way. Leganes have defended well and kept chances to a, a relative minimum. I'll try and bend this, but defender's in the way. I'm on an 8.4, but that's mainly because of my assist than it is any other level of good play. 20 minutes to go. The win is pretty comfortable at 1-0. Even still, he says, he's now watched them go forward and get an equaliser. But this is the sort of game we want to be winning by more. And we might win by more now that I've won that back and I'm on my way. Can we slot this in the bottom corner? Wasn't the bottom corner, but we have slotted it. I've got a goal to go with my assist in the 74th minute. We will go to the Copa del Rey semi-finals. Final whistle sounds. A goal and an assist for me in what ultimately was actually a strong personal performance, which is needed, actually, after a couple of dud performances earlier on in the day. I'm glad that we were able to get that game in against Leganes after transfer deadline day. A goal and an assist for me, and that's us through to the semi-finals of this competition. I believe the semi-finals are two legs, just like the Carabao Cup. I might be mistaken. So 9.7 for me. That's the wrong spreadsheet, Chess. So 9.7 for me, which on the back of my uh, 6 and 7.2 was very much needed. I'm presuming I'm going to get man of the match for the goal and the, uh, and the assist. Uh, it's going to be a 2-0 win there for us in the Copa del Rey. Uh, against Leganes. Is it man the match? A 9 point... Oh, it was a 9.8, not a 9.7. It's gone down. It's, oh, I just pressed it again. Jeez, mate. 9.8. I'll take a 9.8 all day long, and it was man the match. I just saw my guy holding on to the trophy. So, consolidating in the starting lineup, Sevilla, Atleti, and guess who I want in the semi-final? Elche, please. Not Sevilla or Atleti. Please give me Elche. Please give me Elche. We've got Sevilla. <laughs> it's better than Barcelona. And it is two legs. But we've got Sevilla in the uh, Copa del Rey semi-finals. Player agent wise, telling me to uh, check my thingy. I think that's a new addition, isn't it? Where well, you can check that and then it like directs you to the activities. If it isn't a new edition, then it's something I've not noticed before. Do we have a fifth club yet? No, not yet, unfortunately. Now completed... Oh, actually, we had completed already all of the Arielles, haven't we? Uh, that's max already for Tafe, but we weren't really wanting to maximise that one anyway. And I still need another inside-the-box goal there and there. Uh, but I have my inside-the-box. I'm maxed out already, actually, for... Sociedad. No headed goal for me this year at Real Sociedad so far. I haven't scored many headers in my career, have I, to be completely honest. Uh, let's have a look. Goal contributions. I have, in my career, eight headers. Just eight. My career summary, I have scored 133 goals, but only eight of them have been headers. So, uh, not prolific with my head, but certainly with my right foot and in the 18-yard box, I think it's probably the best uh, you can deduce from that, isn't it? 105 goals in my 133 with my right foot and 114 of my 133 in the 18-yard 18, 18 box as well. 18 goals from outside the box, though, in a career is not bad. Not bad at all for a career. And, of course, sometimes it wants 15 in one season for you, which is... Not agreeable as an objective, but that's not for me to whinge about again. Real Sociedad, top of the table. Two points clear of Valencia, who also have match day 22 to play. But we can extend on Real Madrid and Barcelona now. Uh, behind in third and fourth, should we win against Alaves. Uh, who do Valencia have? they got Almeria. Almeria should be a pretty straightforward game for them, especially at the Mestalla, you would imagine. So I think... We'll probably still be top, and Valencia will still be within two points of us, but we should be considerably clear of Real and Barcelona come the end of the next episode. But that next episode is to come tomorrow. That's all for today's video. Thank you very much for watching, as ever. 
do make sure you drop the video a like to ensure you don't miss out on any more make sure you subscribe to the channel and of course join me on stream you can see all of it happen live and you won't need to worry about missing anything from behind the scenes, let alone any of the edited highlights. But for now, that's all from me for today. Thank you very much for watching YouTube. I'll see you next time.